Uh, this is gonna be the first video in a new series I'm gonna do. Uh, call it spots or something. Uh, just gonna be some spots on some maps that like aren't too obvious, um, and some ones that are actually uh, a little little harder to find, but have some good like uh, vantage points and lines of sights um, to catch some people off guard or get some people out of some power positions. So. Uh, let's get into the first one. We're on the map firing range. Um, this is C Dom here, I think. But uh, this uh, this Jeep here is like a real powerful head glitch. Obviously, you know the spot. I'm not showing you the spot. Um, pretty hard to stop people when they're on here, unless you got multiple people shooting at them. They're just moving back and forth like this. They're pretty hard to hit. But if you know someone's coming up out of here and about to get on this Jeep. Um, this works really good for free-for-all when you know they're spawning down there. Just hop up on this Jeep and uh, you, like people don't ever see you here. Um, I don't know why. It's just not an obvious spot to be. Um, you can even lay down and you get a mean head glitch. You're like through this windshield here and it's kind of hard to see you through the windshield, especially when it's cracked a little bit. So you have their head glitch just as bad as they have yours. You have this here and this door coming out of lower tin. And then you can really surprise people coming out of here as well. Um, if you've been playing this Jeep for a long time and you're killing people coming from this way, they're going to come back and try and kill you, obviously, because they're pissed that you're just sitting on that head glitch. So switch it up. Sit here a little bit. That's spot number one. Next few spots all involve this building uh, right next to that Jeep. Beginning of the game, there's a lot of sniper battles between this side and that side. Uh, a lot of people will just go here, try to snipe people there. Boom, 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 boom. Or sit here and try to do the same thing, um, especially in search. But there's some good line of sights, good lines of sight from in here. You jump up on this back table, you want to be crouched, and you have a mean head glitch, like for that window, for there, even maybe the trailer front door if they come out of the trailer. Um, you can see that whole thing. Another little spot involving this window, right here to that blue barrel. Uh, that's a real popular spot. You can get people coming around the back of the trailer uh, and search. I think a bomb is right there Another great spot and then this one You can kind of get some people coming out of there. Oh, you can actually see more of that than I thought um, How did I get that the first time right here? Um, you can get some people coming out of that tin container thing whatever it is, but just some good spots all involved in that window. This is uh, a real situational one. I uh, can't use it that much, but it's a little sneaky. It's not that obvious. Um, from right here to top wood, uh, you can see pretty much the majority of it. Like this is just a little piece of wood, so you can shoot through that. And then you can get some guy who's camping up there the whole game. Next one is personal favor. So coming around this corner, when you're going to, you want to get someone who's over there, you don't really have a lot of options besides this point here and it's not that great of a head glitch you gotta worry about that you gotta worry about that door and then if you want to progress anywhere you're open to that lane that lane and that door um, this is really your only cover and this is like super easy to shoot through a little bit more of a risk but you gotta move all the way up here uh, jump up on this sandbag and look at this nice little it's not the greatest head glitch but like you're through this um, fence here and people can't really see you that well. Good spot to surprise a few people. Um, don't reuse it every round in search, they'll know. And once you get found here, uh, you're kind of screwed. It's a little tricky to get into. Sometimes, yeah, there it is. Next spot is a spot to deal with people who are camping in top 10. You have two options. You can jump up on this guy. You can see there and maybe you can see the other window if you move all the way forwards no um so a lot of people use this spot to get there but i'm gonna show you why the car is better right now um you can jump up on the car you can jump into this like window area here and can't really see much you can get this little sandbag here but you jump all the way up on the car you can see all of this window that's not going to block anyone maybe if they're prone but you can see that window too and you're not exposed to this whole lane here so use this spot much better uh, boom boom so next spot I want to show you guys is uh, while we're at top wood you can actually uh, make this jump from top wood 
to this ladder here. Saves you a little time from being down here, being in probably the most dangerous area of the map and getting absolutely gunned. So, I mean, this is how you do it. Uh, I landed pretty low there, but um, it's actually a little tricky jump to get, but saves you time from getting gunned down there. And you can do the same jump back, so let's see if we can get that first try. Yep. Easy peasy. Next one's a, uh, a super elite spot. I actually get... Uh, I don't like showing these that much just because I like using them and I don't like people finding them out. But uh, this one's pretty obvious. Um, it's actually not that obvious. I don't really see that many people do it. Someone's camping in here. You can jump right over here over the top. Uh, if they're camping this window, you get right behind them. Um, so from the Jeep, that's pretty obvious. But you're standing on the top of this Jeep is a little risky. Um, you got this sandbag right here. Hop on top of that. Look at this. You have their head. You can stay up here. See ya. See ya. See ya. Great spot. Don't tell everyone. Next building we're dealing with, uh, tin. One with the big three on it. So, a lot of people camping in here, including myself. It's a great spot. I won't blame you if you do. Um, so, a lot of people just go up the stairs. But there's trip mines here, trip mines there. When the guys camp in here, it's pretty hard to get up the stairs without dying. So, you got these two holes in the side. One way to get up, boom. Another way to get up, uh, out here on this rock. You walk across, little balancing act. So yeah, you can even just kill the guy from over on that other side, which is probably a better idea. That way you're not crossing in front of everyone. Uh, there's two ways to get up. You can do it from here too, I think. Uh, sometimes it works. Sometimes, yeah, like, whatever. You get the gist. And then, uh, obviously you got this piece over here on this side. So, jump up here. Get that guy. Um, when you're up here, a lot of people, um, if they're coming up to get you, expect you to just be sitting here. You can jump in this window. You can see people coming in. Jump up. Sit here. You have the top of their heads. They're going to go up around this corner and look for you there. See ya. Uh, while we're over here, another nice little spot to get people coming up from there. Uh, jump on the sandbag here. You peek right through this window. Uh, you're pretty exposed over there. So this is good for like a one-on-one -on -one when you're not they're coming from there. Or this door over here. So um, I guess you can hide from there. See this, but uh, you don't have as great as that little line of sight as you do when you're here with your body exposed to the side. So situational, but great freaking spot. Down in this actual part, um, this used to be a great spot. Uh, it's a good spot to hide from hell storms and like kill streaks and stuff, but now it's open. Um, stuff can come straight through here and kill you. Uh, I guess that can't go through there, but um, yeah, hell storms can go through here. Um, it's a little lighter in here. It's easier for people to find you. It's still an okay spot, but don't expect uh, to be as hidden as you were back in the old game. Uh, another little cheeky lane spot. Lane watch spot. Um, right here, search and destroy. They're coming up that way. Um, you think they're flanking. You can hop up on this sandbag here and kind of just peek that barrel uh, right from here. Uh, you can even stand up, and you can't see as much as the barrels you'd like to, but... You can see them crossing. Um, very rare that they'll actually see you here. So, good spot. Um, you see them crossing. You don't have that much cover. Chill. Wait for them to actually come somewhere where you can get them. So, good spot. Next uh, spot, or not really a spot, but more of a jump, is um, you have the ladder here to get up here. Slow. You can jump from here to there. But uh, the jump height in this game is actually ridiculous. So, you can jump from here, get to there. And you can even, if you look up a little bit, just make this jump. Um, it's a lot faster than doing that. And uh, when you're climbing, you have your gun up the whole time rather than going on the ladder. So, cheeky little jump spot. Uh, one more jump spot. This will be the last spot. Um, this thing, too. You can jump over this whole thing. Um, so, I know there's a hard point in there. And, like, people expect you to come through here. Um, you can jump over this side, too. This side actually sits you up here, so it's nice. And uh, if there's people camping in the corner, see you. Um, so anyways, if you like this video, leave a comment, subscribe. Uh, tell me if I helped you out with anything. And uh, as always, 
diesel with the gas, boy.